Welcome, welcome. Welcome to episode number 20 of Facebook Lives. What is that? Is that five months already? Wow. Um, thank you for stopping by. I don't know if anybody's here yet, but I'm glad that you are here. Uh, let's see what's going on here. My Wi-Fi network says it's not really working very well. Uh oh, um, there we go. We're back in the back in the blue. Okay, so that's that's a good thing. All right. Um, again, welcome to episode twenty. Uh, my name is Pat Mayer. I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 24 years, and today I'm going to share with you some things that I've been thinking about. As I was thinking about this weekend, um, what to do today, because of course I never... Uh, hi, Bernadette. Hey, thank you. Um, I never plan out that far ahead, so um, it's stamping on the fly a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to talk today before I do a a quick and easy stamping project. Um, talk about the kits that we have. So we'll stamp in a little bit. Let me tell you, hi Carol, tell you about the kits in the mini catalog as well as the annual catalog, which brings me to kind of coming close to the end of the Stampin' Up! catalog year. The mini catalog does go through June, January to June. So we don't know what's in this one will carry over or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this catalog, the annual catalog, actually goes through the end of April. And we start, can order, um, customers can order from this annual catalog starting in May. It's a whole new switch around this year. I don't exactly know why. I just know that that's what it is. So let's talk about the kits. Uh, typically, kits don't carry over. So that's why I decided to kind of focus on kits today. In the mini catalog, they're on pages five through nine. And I really don't have any of the kits out of here but I have a couple of the stamp sets. So let me just touch base uh, with these pretty quick. Okay, we have all-inclusive card kits. And when they're all-inclusive, it includes the stamp set, the paper, even a block that you need to stamp, all of the little um, pieces, parts, everything that's needed for the kits. And kits are great for beginner, casual, avid stamper, somebody who doesn't have a lot of time, doesn't have a lot of space, and likes things nice and compact in a little box or a little little bag. So, uh, hello dear friend. I did see somebody putting this one together um, this weekend, and it was super cute. And I think that's what got me to thinking about kits may be the way to go for a lot of people. So all-inclusive, $32, 12 cards, and you are left with um, a stamp set that you can use for anything else. You can also substitute, if you don't particularly care for those words, for the cards that it makes is made with. Let's see, I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit more. There, that's a little bit better. Um, the next one is called You Are Amazing. And this is a project kit. Now I need to zoom out again. Um, this is a project kit that makes 16 cards and you get the card bases, um, any dies, things that go with it, but the stamp set is extra. Now, I didn't buy the card kit, but I bought the stamp set because I thought it would be good for just 
you know, you are amazing. I've got some people in my life who need congrats. You're amazing. Hip, hip, hooray, three cheers, all of that kind of stuff. So I have the stamp set, but I don't have the cards to go with it. Uh, they also give you an idea of what colors of stamp pads that you'll need, because this does not include any ink pad either. So that's that one. So we've got all-inclusive project kit. And then this last one is a product medley. The product medleys are typically more expensive, but they include a whole bunch of paper, way more than you probably need to put the projects together. Hi, Nicole. Sunny New North Carolina. Yay. I think we've got sunny days out here too. Um, the stamp set, Flowering Cactus. This one I do not have, but I've seen some amazing projects made with it. It also includes dies, and it says that these are compatible with our mini cut and emboss machine, which is half the price of the large cut and emboss. It includes also, uh, it does not include, but you can get a refill kit for this. Um, and so if you do run out of things, you can get a refill. So that covers the kits in the mini catalog. And again, this is good through June. And then in the annual catalog, they start on page 20, whoops, not on page 21. That's where I'm going to go later. Um, the kits are typically at the front of the catalog. And we've got subscription kits. And I'll talk about that in a minute. And Simply Citrus, which is an all-inclusive. Looking up is all-inclusive. Gorgeous Posies and Boho Indigo. So there are more offerings here. Now, going on my memory and past, past practices, the kits don't usually carry over. So if there's something that you see in um, the catalog now, it may not carry over. And I'm assuming that that will be the case. But again, I, I don't usually assume anything with Stampin' Up! because they like to surprise us. So let me show you, starting with the subscription kit first, which is our paper pumpkin. I've talked about this before. And... Because today is the 8th of the month, you can still order the March Paper Pumpkin until Wednesday. This is the February one. And I did put these together. And I don't always follow all the directions because I can, I can, I can do whatever I want. And that's one of the nice things you can with this, but it comes with all the cards, the dies, envelopes, and I love how all the envelopes are always lined with some design, so they're really pretty. And these foil, I didn't stamp in the middle here because I didn't particularly want to use what they said. This one was more like for sympathy cards and thinking of you and that kind of thing. And I didn't want to put sympathy there. You can also use the opposite side of this in white if you don't want the gold. So you've got lots of options to make paper pumpkin what you want. There's usually lots of stuff left over too. Um, I didn't use all of the sequins. I didn't use all of the, um, the twine that came with it either. But you do get a wonderful stamp set with each paper pumpkin kit, and you always get an ink spot. The first time you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you get um, a block that will always match any of the stamps in the stamp sets that you get. And coming up in March is um, Stampin' Up's eight paper pumpkin birthday and with that one you will get four free stencils and a sponge and again paper pumpkin can be ordered uh, through 
Wednesday the 10th. That's always the cutoff date. And it will never go beyond that because then they start shipping them. And it can be one month, three months, six months, 12 months. You can do it as much as you like. Um, you can suspend your subscription if you like. So um, it's very flexible and it's a good choice and it all is contained in this cute little red box. Sometimes they change the color of the box, but it's always um, self-contained and it's a good, good little thing. Okay, next, this one is super cute and maybe you can tell on the front it's got some uh, lemons here, or limes, whatever. And this one is the citrus. I have not put it together yet, but I will. And super cute. This is an all-inclusive kit. And these are the finished cards. Just a note, hello sunshine, way to go. Thanks for being you and just a note. It's perfect for just about any occasion. Just what you want to say. And this is the nice little set that comes with it. It has a Knight of Navy ink pad. You get twine, these cute little vellum or uh, plastic flowers. And you get lots and lots of dimensionals and um, glue dots. And it comes in a nice little box. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, next is probably my favorite, and I've put a few of these together, but this is the Gorgeous Posies collection and the box itself is is worth it's, it's worth its weight in gold um and it's definitely a keeper this one is a card kit beautiful instructions with it all in color tells you exactly what to do you get ribbon twine if you like purple you'll love this one um, and I have put some of these together. There's a happy birthday, birthday wishes, let's celebrate you, awesome at any age, hey friend, this, this one, this kit is just absolutely stunning. Um, now, it comes with all of this stuff. It does not come with a stamp set. The stamp set is separate. And it's also called Gorgeous Posies. So you don't have to have the kit to have the stamp set. You don't have to have the stamp set to have the kit. So that is also a good thing. Um, let's see, did I see the price on this one. Um, the Gorgeous Posies is $32 for the kit that makes 16 cards. And then the stamp set is $19. Uh, again, those do not come together. And then the last one Love, love, love that. The last one is, does not come in a cute little box. And it is a product medley called Boho Indigo. And it is chock full. I've used a lot out of this. And you get a whole pack of six by six designer paper. in Night of Navy um, and very vanilla. There's also some, I think, garden green here. Look at all of those die cuts you get. 
lots and lots of things with this one. And when it says all-inclusive, the stamp set comes with it, which again is called the same thing, Boho Indigo. It also includes a set of dies. And I believe all of these would also um, fit in the mini cut and emboss machine. So all of those would. And then there's also a ribbon, a spool of ribbon with this. And I haven't used too much of that. I um, thought it was making things a little bit bulky, but it's beautiful ribbon. And there is uh, some little flowers. Yeah, these little little flowers with a bead. Very elegant. It's very elegant. Um, so there is plenty of stuff. And again, this is the more expensive one, but it does come with um, dies and a stamp set and lots of supplies. So this is this one, and it does come with a refill kit. And that would include everything uh, with the paper. The paper things are with the, the refill kit. And a couple of weeks ago, I saw a card on, um, I guess it was on YouTube, that's where I troll a lot of my, spend a lot of my time trolling and getting ideas and, and inspiration so I can share with you all. And this was a card that um, I think it was one of our artisan designers made. And I modified it a little bit uh, from what he had. And uh, it was a Martin Stone, I think, from the United Kingdom. Very talented stamper. And I used a shadow stamp from one of our forget which I forget which stamp set it came from and then I die cut these out I like the colors petal pink calypso coral two of my favorite um, combinations and then I just added a little bit of bling to it and just sending you a paper hug so that is one of my favorite most recent cards so that takes care of the kits part um but i just wanted to share that with you and um make sure that you understand that kits don't typically carry over and if it's something that you think that you would like that is a great thing to do so in my effort to know that i needed to do some stamping thanks nancy some stamping today too um because i sure have the inky fingers to show for it I decided we needed something spring. We're supposed to be in the 50s and maybe 60 by Wednesday or Thursday here in Ohio. We know it's March, so we know that winter isn't really over and that the groundhog was probably more right than wrong, that we'll have more winter, but that's okay. We'll take whatever we can get when the weather is nice. So when I'm done here, I'm hoping to get outside a little bit maybe. I've got lots of twigs and branches and stuff that need to be picked up. Um, so what I chose was something out of the annual catalog. And again, I was looking through that over the weekend thinking, what might be retired? What's going to be on the retiring list? So if you have any thoughts about what might be retired out of here, um, let me know. Yeah, you can post it on the Facebook page if you like. So I thought Tulips would be great. I've not used the Timeless Tulips uh, bundle for a while. And as long as it's still current in the catalog, it is a bundle. And that means it's 10% off. Once a catalog, uh, be, once we get a new catalog, let's, so to, let's, let's say we get a new catalog, and let's say these same items are still in the catalog, then it's not considered a bundle anymore and you don't get the 10% off. So um, doesn't mean you still can't get them, but I hope this stays around. I think I saw that I got this 
in 2019 because I had a note in the in the um, the stamp set here it told me I got this at one of our events in 2019 so I hope it stays around it's got a great punch and that's what we're gonna do today um, not only that it's I would call it pretty much all season we've got Mother's Day of course and Easter which are coming up but birthday get well memories of yesterday comfort you for today or comfort you today which is great for a sympathy card and what a beautiful difference one single life makes um, which could be Mother's Day I guess and a sympathy card so it's just a great all-purpose set and um, that's what I decided to use. So I will get started here and get my supplies out. And then I have another choice to show you. And the colors that I chose are So Saffron. Don't know why I came up with this, but I like it. Pumpkin Pie. And of course, Basic White. So we've got a piece that's going to go inside, so I'll hold off on that for a bit. And our pumpkin pie is going to go here. And that's the piece I'm going to stamp on. So this is the piece that's going to go on the front here. So let's start stamping with... Now I'm using... So saffron, but I've got crushed curry. Uh, you have a foot of snow on the ground? Good grief, no twig picking up yet. <laughs> uh, Nancy lives in upper New York or central New York. I'm gonna use crushed curry, pumpkin pie, and garden green. So let's get these open. pretty much not had any snow on the ground unless you drive by places that had a lot of it uh, plowed and um, and they still have a lot uh, of snow piles but I think all of the snow is gone from my my yard um, I'm putting a, a pierce mat underneath my little grid sheet because this is a photopolymer stamp set which makes it nice to know exactly what you're stamping. And I've got all of the stamps that I'm going to use mounted on the blocks. So let's get going with that. And they do stain, and that's okay, but I know that it's clean because I cleaned them after I got done with my uh, sample here. Okay, so I'm going to stamp in crushed curry first. Let's see, can you see what I'm doing? There we go. Um, crushed curry, and then in pumpkin pie, I'm gonna take one of our new blending brushes. Now I know these are not uh, orderable right now because they've been so, so popular, but for this next little technique, you can do a regular stamping sponge or um, a sponge dauber to do this, but this will really add a lot to make this pop. So I'm just going to take that around the edge like that, maybe a little bit at the top of the tulip. And let's get my right paper here. And I'm going to do that three times. And so if you can see how that really puts some gradient at the bottom and a little bit at the top. So I'm just gonna stamp it off, go back to the crushed curry, a little bit more pumpkin pie about here. Do another one. And I'm going close to the bottom of the paper that I have so that I can fit the punch in there. 
Okay, I'll stamp it off a little bit. Crushed curry and pumpkin pie again. Okay, I'm gonna try and add a little bit more to this one. And this is one of our distinct, I-N-K, emphasize distinctive stamps so that you get the um, the different, to make it look more like texture. Um, and I think that is a Stampin' Up! exclusive. Nobody else has it. So you can see light and dark with the same, in the same stamp. Um, it's very impressive, very impressive. So that's that. And let me see here how this is going to go. Okay. So before I stamp that, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the leaves. And because of the, um, the punch, I didn't set it up so I could stamp them both at the same time. I'm just going to stamp the leaves, three of the leaves. Okay, so that takes care of that. And now I will punch. So now if you'll lock, look the way I punch these, I want to start over here to the left with the first one that I stamped first so that it doesn't overlap and punch into the second one. So there we go with that. And I must have done something where it's sticking in there uh, with maybe a post-it note. I don't know. But anyway, it's trying to stick. So what did everybody do on the weekend? Um, I was kind of under the weather on Friday. I got my second COVID test, not test, but second COVID shot on Friday. On, I got it on Thursday, excuse me. And about, oh, less than 24 hours later, I got some side effects from it. And um, then 24 hours later, it was gone. But for 24 hours, I was not feeling real good. Okay, I went the wrong way on this, so let's get some scissors here and cut that off and there, that's better. And two more, I do have a couple of these already cut out, but We'll go ahead and punch them. And I got all that paper caught in there. Okay. And one more. And then this will go together really fast. Once I get all my paper scraps put away here. All right, on the front of the card, I'm going to put a make sure I've got the right front here um, with the garden green I'm gonna stamp the stem let's see and so I want these will overlap just a little bit but I want to make them look like a little bunch of tulips. And another one going this way. 
Okay. And just so I don't get more ink where I don't want it, let's close those up. And let's find some dimensionals here and add dimensionals to the backs. Two ought to be, ought to do it. If you ever have trouble getting dimensionals off, if you got a thumbnail, just poke your thumbnail down in there, and they usually pop right off. Where is the most, the craziest place that you've ever found a Stampin' dimensional backing in your house? I find them all the time when I take my clothes off at night. <gasps> oh. But that means it's it's good. So there we go, three. And I like the fact that this one goes off. I don't think it will go off the edge of the card, but it just adds a little bit more dimension by going off of the edge of the paper a little bit. Okay, let's add some leaves here. Um, I think they can handle a large dimensional. Okay. Never quite sure how this one's supposed to go, but I think this is it. Okay. Another one here. And I think we're about finished, believe it or not. Uh, okay, let's move that up a little bit. And one more. Thanks, Carol. I do. I think the, the shading really really adds a lot with that little bit darker color. I thought of using Poppy Parade um, as well, but um, didn't know how that one would, would work. I've got a card with a Poppy Parade backing to show you. Okay. There we go. Um, and then I've got where we go with our memento. I'm going to put hello on the outside. And then make it an Easter card. Let's make this, see if I can make this straight. There's hello. So that's going to go on there in just a second. On the inside, I'm going to use the blending brush with adding some color, get some of that color off of there though. I don't wanna make it real, real dark and make it look a little bit, maybe like a sunrise. That reminds me of Easter. So I'm gonna put some color on the inside. Just add kind of whatever ink is left in that brush and then stamp happy Easter, happy spring. Do you realize that next week is daylight savings time? Wow, daylight saving time. I always get that wrong. So we will spring forward 
There we go. I love that. Happy Easter. Happy spring. Happy, happy everything. And let's see if there's enough ink left on this tulip to add that here. Maybe I'm going to mess up this whole thing. Ah, uh, that didn't look very good. Let's, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I don't want to have to do that over again. So I'm going to just do some crushed curry on there and stamp that again. There, that doesn't look too bad. Um, that is the stamping on the fly part that I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do. So we've got that tulip. It needs a bit of a stem because it doesn't look like it should just hang out there in midair. So I'll just add a little bit of a stem there. Okay. So let's add that to the middle of the card to the inside. And I've still got some of our old snail adhesive I'm trying to use up. So there's the inside. Let's add this to the front and then I'm going to add it the whole thing with dimensionals. And before I put that on there, I'm going to add my ever famous shimmer spray, which I put on everything, shimmer paint and alcohol. So I got to hold that away from the camera so it's not going on anything and add dimensionals to the front of this or to the back of this. go. Then I'll show you the other one that I did too in my original sample that I came up with. And it goes over the edge just a little bit, but I think it would still fit in the envelope. So there's the finished card. Here was, oops, we got one more thing to do. We've got to add bling. Uh, pearls. We need some pearls here. So let me add those. Okay. Love the pearls. And you have to have an odd number. So I stick with that. There we go. So there's the final card. Here was my original sample that I did. So just a little bit different. And this was one that I did with Poppy Parade as a card base. And just a smaller one with the flowers going off and a little bit more of a black accent. So, which one do you like the best? Okay, so there we, let's let's put them like this way. There we go. So now there are some Easter cards. Or hello, I don't know if I made them all Easter cards. Yep, that one's Easter. This one. Yep, three Easter cards ready to go. So I want to thank every, thanks Nancy, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. It was a little bit longer than I had anticipated today, but don't forget during the month of March, 
any $35 uh, order or more um, placed either through me or on my online store, which is right there. Um, we'll receive a card kit, uh, no stamping, but with three cards, three, the, a kit for three cards, along with all of the dies and a template from the Many Messages stamp set. Uh, we are not allowed to stamp images, but surely you've got something that you can use to, um, to stamp on those dies. And the paper that I will be using is some things, are some things that are left from uh, our recent celebration. So if you do shop with me at patmayer.stampinup.net, uh, please use this hostess code for the month of March. I've got it nice and green for St. Patrick's Day. Um, there's the March host code. And um, I do thank you for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Learned something new maybe. And I'll see you again next week. And I'll have a week to figure out what I'm doing then. So again, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And see you soon. Bye-bye.